How are you guys? Today's video is going to talk to you guys about how I quit my job to become an entrepreneur. Thank you guys so much for watching. For my first video, my introduction video, I had about 400 views and I was really, really nervous, but everyone was so supportive. And believe it or not, I gathered up the courage to do this video. And this video is going to talk to you guys about how I quit my job to become an entrepreneur. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and please subscribe. And these videos that I'm going to talk to you guys about how to take your photography to the next level and become a better entrepreneur, a better photographer, a better business person, how to shoot better, how to edit better, how to post better. And I'm also going to be talking to you guys about life experiences, how I became, became an entrepreneur, my life now, my travels, just a little bit of everything. I know a lot of people follow me regarding photography but I, some of the tips that i'm going to be giving you can also help you with your life and if you're a business owner doing makeup or doing something else these tips and tricks throughout the videos are going to help you become a better entrepreneur and a better business owner so just to give you a story of how um, I started photography about 10 years ago I picked up my first camera as a hobby and little by little my passion for photography grew and um, I just knew that I wanted to become a photographer I just knew that I wanted to do this for the rest of my life so I decided decided to gather up the courage to put in a two weeks notice at my old job and at the time I was working for AT&T I was a salesperson and um, all I remember was giving in my two weeks notice to my manager and he looks at me and he was like are you sure you want to do this and i said yes you know i'm really excited to become a photographer i'm excited to do this full time and i'm excited to to go on this new venture on this uh, on this new endeavor so i remember giving him my two weeks notice giving him the letter and i had to go to lunch after i gave him the letter so i went into my car and i just remember bawling like crying crying hysterical I called my partner Raul and I told him hey you know I just gave him my two weeks notice and he just kind of reassured me and he gave me the confidence that I needed um, to get my thoughts together and to um, gather up the courage that I needed to become a photographer I just was scared uh, that I wasn't gonna work out but um, I just knew in my heart that it was gonna work out I was scared but I knew it was gonna work out which is another topic that I'm gonna tell you later on in this video reason why I knew it wasn't going to work out because I, I promised myself that I would never quit. Even if I had hard times, I wasn't going to quit. So I'm going to give you guys three tips if you are planning to quit your job, if you have it on your mind, and if you're tired of going to your 9 to 5 or you're tired of going to your job, I'm going to give you three tips on how to quit your job, but you got to be prepared. The first tip and the most important tip that I can give you guys is, for example, let's say you want to be a makeup artist. Let's say you want to be an interior designer or a hairstylist or a doctor, you want to open up your own practice, um, whatever it is, just make sure that before you're given your two weeks notice that you have a plan. And by a plan, I mean have a savings account. This savings account, I recommend that you have six months to a year saved of your expenses. So whatever your expenses are, gather up your budget, put in your rent, your car, your insurance, your health insurance, put that down, write that down and get your full total and multiply that by six months to a year and that's what you're going to have to have in your savings account before uh, you quit your job. So what's going to happen with that savings account? Let's say you have a rough month or two or three or six months in the beginning of your business doing whatever it is that you're doing, what you're going to have. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be hard in the beginning. What's going to happen is that that savings account is going to help you to pay off your bills. So in case you're running low on money, always go back to your savings account to your emergency funds. Okay. That's what I did. I had six months of savings um, for all my bills so I was able to quit my job and kind of be at ease knowing that I had my bills all paid okay so I, that's tip number one have a savings account for your all your expenses tip number two that I can give you guys is to tell everyone tell everyone your parents your family your friends your enemies your acquaintances tell everyone that you're gonna quit your job and that you're gonna do whatever it is that you're doing that you're gonna do that full time so what, what's going to happen with that is that you're going to let everyone know, everyone's going to be aware. So everyone is going to be rooting for you and everyone is going to, and ask for referrals. Everyone hopefully is going to give you the referral, especially the parents, especially your friends and family, your closest knit group are going to start referring you. So what I did in the beginning when I quit my job is that I called everyone and I told everyone that I had quit my job and that I needed their help. Hey, I said, hey, I quit my job to become an entrepreneur to do photography full time. So I would greatly appreciate if you pass on the word, let everyone know that I'm doing photography um, and if they need a photographer to contact me. 
and I give them a, a few business cards, okay? So let everyone know. Uh, another tip that I have with this is that use social media to your advantage. Guys, Instagram and Facebook is free. There's no better time to become a business owner at this moment in this era. Back in the day, it was hard because there wasn't any any internet. Any It was all word of mouth. It was all paid advertisement. And right now, social media is going to help you st jumpstart your business by free marketing, guys. Like That's what I did in the beginning. I started posting all of my work on social media um, using hashtags, especially on Instagram. I owe Instagram the world, the world. Why? Because Instagram is all about pictures so um, and photographs. So I was able to do a photo shoot and upload it, put hashtags, and that's how people started finding me, okay? Um, on Facebook, I let everyone know I started before I quit my job. Before I quit my job, I was already posting on Facebook. So people started saying that I, that I was becoming a photographer, that I was getting better, and my, my photo shoots got better and better as I posted them. So please use Instagram and Facebook and all, all sorts of social media to go ahead and help you jumpstart your photography or whatever business it is, all right, guys? That's my number one recommendation. Use social media to let everyone know. Tip number three, and one of the most important, and this has to do with everything in life related, is to never quit, to never ever stop following your dreams, and to always hustle, all right? Raul, my partner, hates when I use the word hustle, but that's what you really do as an entrepreneur, you hustle. You have to hustle. You have to keep on going. Never quit. Guys, you're going to hit rough patches, all right? Becoming an entrepreneur is not, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's the most, one of the most rewarding things I've done for my life, for my family, for us. Guys, I'll give you, and I'll just give you a top reason of why to become an entrepreneur, guys. Like, I just bought a house become, being an entrepreneur. I bought a house, all right? This office that I'm talking to you guys from is my house. I bought it with my hard-earned money, with my hustle and bustle. I bought a house being a photographer. I would have never thought when I quit my job that I was going to be able to afford a house being a photographer, guys. Like, this is the world I'm getting goosebumps right now, like, just thinking about it. I'm very grateful that I'm able to become, I have my own business. I have, I have my, I, I travel the world doing what I love. I, I make people happy. I, I photograph happy people. I photograph people in their, in their most beautiful stages of their lives. So it's very rewarding. Find a job that's going to be able to give you um, a sense of satisfaction that you're doing it. If you're a makeup artist, you're making people beautiful. If you're uh, a doctor, you're helping people out. If you're an interior designer, you're um, you're decorating their home to be be better. So be proud of what you're doing and do it right. Become the best at it in your market. Make people think about you when they're thinking about what it is that you do. All right. So if you're a photographer, post beautiful pictures and people are going to start thinking about you and they're going to start calling you. Okay. Um, I hope to have inspired at least one or two people, if not a lot of people in this YouTube channel. I'm mainly doing it to inspire people, to help people become better entrepreneurs, photographers, better people at life. Um, life is beautiful, guys, and I'm so happy that you're here watching today. And please, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. You can find more of my work at alanphillip.com. I'm going to link, I'm going to put my, my website link in the description below. And also, please follow me on Instagram at alanphillip. Guys, I love you guys so much, and thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.